Alright, so the next thing is selection. How can we select different components of these cubes? So um, first of all, we're in item selection mode, which I want you to think of that like uh, Photoshop layers. So let's say all these cubes are on this one layer, right? So now I click it. Um, if I press number one, I can pick verts. So press number one on your keyboard and click on those verts. You can hold down and drag. You can also hold shift and then click to add more verts. You can hold down control and click and drag to uh, get rid of verts. So that's with number one. Number two switches to edges mode, which means I can pick uh, these edges. Number three is polygons mode. And again, drag control to deselect, shift to add. Let's try copying one of these cubes. So I've pressed number three to get into polygons mode. And now I can double click this cube. And with control C, control V, I have just copy pasted that cube. Now I'm going to press W, which corresponds to move. So W. Now I can move the second one somewhere else. Once I'm done with the move, I can press escape twice. I'll show that again. So if I double click this one, I'm in polygons mode, number three for polygons. Double click, control C, control V. Now that's gonna be the same if you're on a Mac or a PC. Uh, if you're on a Mac, you should have a control key on your keyboard, not command, control. So now W, and let's move it. And now I'm gonna press escape one time which you see how I'm in transform tool over here on the bottom left. As soon as I press escape, it exited out of that tool. And now escape one more time will exit out of my selection. Now, one neat thing about Moto, if I zoom out here with alt and right mouse, is if I double click this, you can see that on the bottom right, it says six polygons, right? That's what I have selected. If I click one, it says one polygon. That's all good. If I click off, it deselects everything. But instead of saying zero polygons here, it says all polygons, which means whenever you have nothing selected in Moto, you actually have everything selected. So now what happens if I press Control C to copy, Control V to paste, I've just copied all of them uh, together. So escape, escape. Control C, Control V, copied all of them. So just keep that in mind. It's one of the tricky things about Moto that's a little bit different from other programs. And uh, one more thing, guys, and this is a really key component of navigation. Um, so let's say I'm working over here on this thing, but then I want to start working over here. Now I could go and pan over with middle Alt and Middle Mouse and move over here, right? Uh, but let's say I need to go back over to there now. And, oh god, it's going to take me a while to move over here. So the best way to work in Moto is to zoom to what you have selected. So let's say I need to work on that piece over there. I'm going to press Shift A. This is a super, super shortcut. So Shift A, and now I am instantly there. If I click back over here, Shift A, now I'm right over here, centered on it and everything. So remember that shortcut whenever you need to move, Shift A. And also, I've clicked off now that I have everything selected. If I press Shift A, it zooms around everything. So this is another super key concept of Moto. Shift A to zoom in on different parts of your model.